Welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes and today we are going to be working on upgrading the Alpha to have a reading light down here just below the side mirror Alright, so let's get to it Okay, so there's two prerequisites to this project One is you need to purchase the LED lights with the mount specific for this uh, car model Alright, as you can see it's over here with all the wirings and the second uh, requirement is that your door panel needs to become uh, needs to be removed first okay so as you saw in my previous video I've already removed this door panel to do something to the door panel so I'll show you how to install it alright okay so the first thing you need to do is there is a small nudge over here so insert your tiny screwdriver and Peel it off, okay? Just pry it open. Just like that, alright? Okay, so the next thing you need to do is remove the side mirror. And to do that, you have actually three screws, I'm uh, sorry, three nuts. Alright, these are size uh, 10 mm. It will be over here, here, and here. Once you got the three uh, nuts out, you just need to wiggle this this out, alright? If, if, if you do not have the uh, sun visor over here then it's just a direct coming out else you just need to wiggle it up alright and this is the side mirror assembly alright now I will see how to go with the wiring okay so the wiring on the side mirror portion is actually done it's actually simpler than I thought there's not much things to remove so Originally, this plastic cover is just um, just like that, alright? Okay, just like that. So all you need to do is just take it out, okay? And then you will find a hole on the bottom portion of the side mirror, alright? So this is where I run the wires, okay? So it will come out from the side here, so, for, sorry, from the bottom here. Okay, and I will route it back to the middle here in which it will be covered by this rubber plast uh, rubbery plastic thingy. Okay, and then what I did was I used a metal cable, metal wire. Alright, something like this. Alright, make a U here. Put it through here. So once it's true, just pull the wire into this hole. Okay, and we will have this portion of the cable in the door portion already. Okay, so I'm going to assemble this back and then I'm going to install this and then I'm going to show you how to do the wiring on the door side, alright? Okay, so on the side mirror there, it's as simple as just connecting the plug plugging the wire away and just putting this back in alright simple as that alright just put this back in okay so since this product is actually from China I will leave the link in the description where I purchased this but um, since this is from China it's not really a direct fit in the sense that manufacturing wise there was some parts where I have to trim off so that it actually fits okay so as you can see it's already fitted nicely now alright Time to close this and then let's look at the wiring on the other side, alright? Okay, so the wiring for the inside is done and this is how it's being done. So as earlier mentioned from the side mirror, it comes in from here into the door portion. Then I sort of just um, wound it up around the existing wire so I don't feel like using uh, cable ties or PVC tape to actually tape it. So And the cable is long enough so this is how I do it. Alright, all the way down to the bottom light here. Alright, then I connect it over here and later I'll use a PVC tape to just tape it off. Okay, so this this method of wiring basically means that the light, the side mirror light, will only turn on when the door is open. Alright, of course you can do the wiring in a different manner whereby it follows your interior light but you have to pull the wire and go through here. Then connect to the light or the fuse box over there. Okay, but 
I prefer not to because it's a bit odd if I on the interior light and the outside light is on as well. Okay, so I'm actually doing this in this manner so that it follows the door. So as you can see, it's turned on. But when I close the door, it closes. When I open the door, it opens. Okay, so that's the end of this DIY. On to the summary. Alright, so that's the end of this DIY and let's let us talk a bit about about this, alright? So uh, let's start with the cost. The cost of this light one pair is about 60 ringgit which is about 15 US dollars. Alright, I've got it from I'll put the link uh, down below. Okay. And then uh, the time it takes to do this DIY is probably about 15 to 20 minutes per side. And then to remove the door panel is about five, actually about ten minutes. Okay, so all in all is about half an hour per side. All right, very simple, very quick. Okay, the reason why I did this DIY is not that I need the like. It's just that I one of my followers uh, sent me a link and asked me whether I can teach them how to install this. It looks very simple and it is very simple. Okay, so. I agree to it. I have actually bought this light and it has been sitting in my storeroom for maybe three, four months or maybe longer than that. Alright. So yeah, now I got the time. I did it. And I'm posting this video. Hopefully um my follower, that particular follower have not gotten bored of waiting for me. I'm sorry about it. Okay, I promise I will try to do things a bit faster. Alright, but life sometimes do get a bit hectic. Alright, okay, so as usual, if you like this video, hit this. If you dislike it, you can always hit this, but leave us a comment on how to improve further, alright? And if you have not already done so, please, 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 please hit subscribe, alright? And hit the bell button so you get notified on our future uploads. If you like this, yeah. Alright, please subscribe. Till next time, I'll see you again.